Stars, my name is Raul. Here's some music content for you guys. I've been recording some all over the place content and uh, here's kind of bringing it back to my usual stuff. I'm going to show you guys a cool little trick to, to help you guys kind of like familiarize yourself with the fretboard a little bit better. We understand that there's A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, those notes, and understanding this, these two notes and the sequence in which these two notes go. You can you can understand the fretboard a little bit better. So let me let me go ahead and just kind of simplify it a little bit more. B and E, those two notes. So it's A B C D E F G. B and E. Those two notes don't have. There's no B sharp and there's no E sharp. Same thing as there's no C flat and there's no F flat. That is just truth. You know there is a frequency in there that's technically in there. But the guitar is set up so it respects the keys on the piano and respects the musical notes. And understanding that simple fact that E is followed by F, there's no E and then F is right here. No, it's, it's this note right here, this second fret, is F sharp because it goes open E, F, F sharp, C. B and C, which is basically this B, open B, this string right here. Not, not that high E string, because remember, these two notes are the same. I'm in standard tuning, so E and E. E and followed by F. Now we go to, to B, B, to C, because there is no B sharp, right? And there is no C flat, so it goes straight to e, B to C. And then you just kind of familiarize your ear to understanding and listening to the other notes around that. B, C, D, E. Music isn't just letters and just understanding the sharps and flats. It's it's a whole combination of multiple notes and the feeling that you want to get. It's like understanding a little bit more gives you more power, more confidence. That's what it's all about, playing confidently. Memorizing these two things makes you a more well-rounded player. Okay, That's why I'm bringing this up. And I just want to also provide more music content because I don't want to just go off the rails and just show you guys some of the videos I want to show you guys and just talk about things that I want to talk about. I want to actually provide some value. So remembering that is like... So E major, E, and then F would be the, the next the next note. Here. E, F, E, F. And then a little buzziness. So then you go B, B major. I, and I've memorized these chords, so it took me a little while, but B major with a high with this high E string being barred by this finger. B minor, B major, B major, and then we know, so we're going to go from B to C, B, this is the bar version, but now technically we can't really do a, like this is the C chord, right, and if we wanted to play the C, C, the B, we'd have to like go back, we need a whole other fret, and um, we can't really play the C, C major chord shape um, with, from here because we need we need to the, we need to extend the fretboard up a little bit so we can get some deeper notes. But we are we're only limited to these twelve frets extended duplicated twelve frets. Yeah. Oh, actually, boom! Right here. What am I talking about? I could actually show you guys right here. So check it out. So this is the C major chord, like this. That's a C major. C major. Now I was just talking about how I can't. Let me just show you how I can actually using the 12th fret. So technically I want to play that same exact I want to play the same exact C shape and make it a B chord. Play it here. Okay, but it makes a different chord when I do it here. So what I'm gonna do is instead of playing it like this, C major, I'm gonna just slide it over 
I'm gonna slide it over and make it lower. And that's a B. B, C, B, which I'm using this shape here. It is a little uncomfortable at first, so just don't worry. It, you just Your brain will be able to uh, fix itself and re rewire itself to kind of make it a little more comfortable. Also, be having the strength to also do it helps too. So, B. So this this is the C shape. This is the remember this is like the C C major shape. But I have to bar this 12th fret so that way I don't get like an open C. This I don't get that sound. It still sounds it sounds cool. It's a C. It's just technically still a C because the notes are the same. But it's not quite in that same like frequency range. That's why it sounds better at C. And then I'm I'm gonna slide it I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide it a whole fret up and make it lower because this is the B B to C. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Let me know if that doesn't make sense, guys, because I can go over it some more and I can even show you guys the notes. Um, technically, I don't even have to. Yeah. It's B to C, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So this is a. Uh, a whole, I'm gonna bar this whole 12th fret because that's the remember at the 12th fret everything kind of re re loops, plays it over and over again like from 12 to this 12th it's all the same notes. We we'll go ahead and do E major to F major. And those notes in these chords can be used. In, in a song, in a music, like you can just like understand, okay, that, that that note is in that chord, so I can use that note in the solo, in in the chord progression. It just sounds great. And you kind of have to just, with time, with the songs that you want to learn, play with them and play along with the songs. So you're like, okay, that that note plays, that, go, that goes really well. That matches, that fits. Is it major, is it minor? That's the fun stuff about music that I... I can't really go fully in depth into because I, because I'd be talking your ear off when there's somebody else that's way more qualified and actually study music and can clearly and can uh, can all can all sync it all up into a better definition than what I can give you. So look it up and if you have any, any um, if you guys have any information that I can even learn from, send it my way, please. I'm always I'm always welcoming all the blessings and all the things that are meant for me. So let me have it. You know, let me have it. Share it. Come on, don't be greedy. But yeah, guys, I hope that makes sense. So I, to go over it again, so I'm going to go, go ahead and show you what I understand. So E, F, 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 and then E, F. And I believe this here, E, F. Just show you guys E and F. Now you can do the same thing for B and C, but I, I, I mean B C. Was that right? B. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oops, I was playing the wrong notes. So on and so forth. B C. Memorizing those two little frets, um, B to C, E to F, can give you more understanding of the fretboard. That's that's my whole split. That's that's the whole thing I'm learning to talk about, guys. That's it. So try it out, practice that, and it may even, you know, may even just like bring out a whole new awareness to your mind. Because when I understood this, it was like, whoa, like I could see the fretboard a little bit differently. I understand like that's where those notes are at. I can I can see it. I can see where I could play these notes. And it helped me out tremendously. So try it out. I want to go ahead and just leave it at that because I I can talk all day about these notes and and pretty much like keep running in the same place. But just try it out. Let me know what you guys come back with and if you have any questions or if you have any 
things or insider secrets that I didn't know about, again, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.